Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome content. Welcome to another How to Play, and this time we're focusing on the Rebel Arms dealer, Nyan Nub. Nyan Nub is a mid to long range sniper whose main advantage lies in his rapid fire pulse cannon. His trait is an upgradable turret that upgrades to explosive shot after scoring enough hits. Replacing his turret, or it being destroyed however, will reset the bar. His first ability on the left is his rapid fire pulse cannon. This is Nyan Nub's main strength as its cooldown is around 2 seconds, letting you fire this pretty much continuously. It one shots regular troopers at base health and does pretty good damage to heroes. Learn how to aim this and you can stay pretty far out of the battle with Nyan Nub picking off targets. His middle ability is his upgradable turret. This infantry turret starts off pretty much like a normal infantry turret with a slight damage boost and when upgraded fires explosive shot for a lot more damage. However, like I said before, if it's destroyed or replaced, you do have to build up the trait bar again. His last ability on the right depends whether you're in a 40 player mode or heroes vs villains. If you're in a 40 player mode, this will be an orbital strike that's just slightly slower than the pickup. In Heroes vs. Villains, it becomes Proximity Mines, which you can lay three of on the field at a time. Now, Nyan Nub is actually one of the best Rebel heroes when used correctly. He's fast, but being a sniper type character, he has low health. But that's okay, because after these tips, you shouldn't get shot up too bad. That being said, generally you want to put your turret down at a mid-range facing the enemy spawn or direction they're coming from most at the moment to lay down fire for your team and score some kills while upgrading the turret. Then fall back to a position where you feel comfortable sniping from. The farther the better, obviously, since it reduces the damage you'll take and the likelihood that you'll be shot. But if you need practice with the rapid fire pulse cannon, then stay at whatever range works best for you. From there, you can pretty much call orbital strikes and pulse cannon to support while making sure your turret doesn't get destroyed, making sure to replace it when it does. If you need to place your turret down to cover your flank, do that as well. Remember, Nyan Nub is fast, so watch your map and if you start getting surrounded, move to a different location. His main gun, the DH-17, isn't that great, so you will take some damage most likely before killing someone with it. Sometimes it's better just to use the pulse cannon at close range for an instant kill in that situation. Really, the key to Nyan Nub is just using the turret in whichever way best suits you, whether for offense or defense, and to get good with his rapid fire pulse cannon, which may take practice. The orbital strike is just a nice bonus to cover objectives or thin out some Imperials. Just remember, like most of the Rebel heroes, Nyan Nub doesn't do well when surrounded. Keep your distance. I mean, you can try defending yourself against hordes of stormtroopers, but most likely you'll end up looking just as pathetic as this character from the original trilogy. Ooh. Did that burn? Yeah, that burned. Now for the heroes vs villains part. Nyan Nub doesn't have too many changes in playstyle except how you use his third move, which changes from an orbital strike to proximity mines. The mines can prove to be a great tool in running away for causing a lot of damage to the people chasing you, or making them have to slow down to destroy the mines. Either way, it's a great help in helping you escape from the enemy team. Other than that, his playstyle remains pretty much the same. Try to keep your distance using the pulse cannon and turret while placing mines in the path of enemies. You can have three mines at a time on the field. So let's recap. Use the pulse cannon often. Place your turret facing most of the enemy infantry. Use orbital strikes wisely. Use proximity mines when running away. Place mines in the path of enemies. And keep your distance. For the most part, Nyan Nub is a pretty skill based hero. Um, he relies heavily on you being good with the pulse cannon and your situational awareness and strategicness with placing his traps and turret. So. For the most part, he is a skill-based hero, so there's not too much to go off of as far as specific situations and stuff like that. That's it for this minor character that most people haven't even heard of. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Share your greatest Nyan Nub moment with me in the comments, and remember to share this video and subscribe for more content, more how-to-plays, and more subscriber-requested videos. I'll see you guys next time.